This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a geometry problem here involving triangles. Now, one of the things that you'll need to have memorized is the idea that the sum of angles in a triangle equals 180. In this particular case, that means that x plus y plus z equals 180. Now this is an equation with three variables, and we're trying to find the value of variable y. So we can't quite do it yet. In fact, we're not actually just trying to find y. We're actually trying to find the least possible value of y. So that's something to keep in mind as we go forward. But we are given a bunch of other pieces of information which we can plug in. For example, we're told that y is equal to z minus 1. And we're told that x is less than 90. Now, I'm not going to plug in for y, because y is what we're trying to solve for. So I'm going to change this equation a little bit, and let's add 1 to both sides so that I can get y plus 1 equals z. And I can actually plug in for z. So I'm going to take that y plus 1. I'm going to plug it into this equation for z. And I'm also going to plug something else in. We're given x is less than 90. And I want to show you an interesting trick that you can use here, which is it's hard to plug in an, an inequality. But what we can change this into is sort of a modified equation. So let's say that x is equal to some number which is less than 90. And what I'm actually going to do is take that says LT for less than. I'm actually going to take this idea of something less than 90, and I'm going to plug that in for x. So let's write our new equation. We have some number less than 90 plugged in for x plus y plus y plus 1 is equal to 180. Now we have one equation and one variable, and we can solve for it. So let's start collecting like variables. We end up with less than 90 plus 2y plus 1 equals 180. And what happens, let's start talking about the algebra that you can do with this less than 90 term. Now this represents some number which is less than 90. If I add 1 to that number, that number should now be, we don't know what it is still, but it's something which is less than 91. Now let's subtract that number from both sides. And what we'll be left over with is 2y equals, and now we have to do some thinking again. What is 180 minus some number which is less than 91. Well, if I just take 180 and I subtract 91, what I'll end up with is the number 89. But we're not subtracting 91. We're subtracting something less than 91. So what we should really end up with, in the case of 180 minus less than 91, is something greater than 90 than 89. And think about that. If we subtract less, what's left over should be more. So 2y is some number greater than 89. And now let's divide both sides by 2. And we end up with y is equal to some number greater than, I'm going to take 89 and divide it by 2 to get 45.5. Uh, sorry, 44.5. And this we'll need to interpret to find our answer. So y is equal to some number greater than 45, which you can rewrite as y is greater than 
44.5. And now let's come back to our, to our charge, which is to find the least possible value of y. Well, what is the smallest value of y which will satisfy that condition? And that is y equals 45, which is your answer.